Hello students, welcome to the theory class of seed production of vegetable, tuber and spices crops. Today we will discuss on the topic seed storage. So by the end of this class you will be able to answer the following questions. What is seed storage and why do we need it? What are the types of seed storage? How to maintain seed viability during storage? And what are the seed storage structures? So coming to the first one, what is seed storage? It is a method of preservation of seed with initial quality until it is needed for planting. So usually when we harvest seeds, we don't usually go for planting in that immediate season, in the next season. Okay, we wait for certain period of time. Okay, so until this certain period of time, we have to maintain the quality of seed and preserve the quality of seed until we reaches the next season okay, or the next year. Okay, this is called the method of preserving the quality of seed until the next season is called seed storage. Okay. So what are the objectives of seed storage? So the main objective, the main motive would be to retain or to maintain the initial seed quality. Okay, whatever it may be, the germination percentage germination quality, seed vigor, seed, seed viability, physical purity all along the storage period by providing suitable or even better conditions. Okay, So how are we going to do it? By reducing the rate of deterioration to the degree required to maintain an acceptable level of quality for the desired period. So as soon as the plant gets matured and the seed is harvested, the seed deterioration starts Okay, and in such a way that and because of the metabolic activity in the seed, uh, the seed gets deteriorated. Okay, it gets over matured and it gets uh, rotten or it may get uh, spoiled. So, how are we going to maintain the germination and physical purity by retaining the, by reducing the metabolic activity, by reducing the protein production, by reducing the deterioration that happens in the seeds? Okay, that which is a natural phenomena. So our, how are we going to do it? We usually go for storage uh, storage unit, okay, seed storage unit, which has the facility to control relative humidity and temperature. While in other case, in extreme condition, if we have to store the seed for a longer period of time, we have to store it in a cryopreservative unit, which is called, which is which is storage in a facility with minus 196 degrees celsius in a very high in a very low temperature so coming to the type of storage we have storage at ambient temperature and humidity we have dry storage with control of moisture content but not temperature we have dry storage with control of both moisture content and temperature we have dry storage for long-term gene conservation moisture storage without control of moisture content of temperature and moist cold storage with control of temperatures. So let's see one by one. So in the first kind we have storage at ambient temperature and humidity. So in this case we are going to pile up the seeds, the seed stock in a room having ambient ventilation and you should be able to, uh, the seeds should be able to uh, expose into the environment okay so uh, and th that structure should be uh, in such a way that the structure should built in such a way that they are free from rodents and pests and at least they, they must be fumigated in to ensure that there is no fungal activity or any fungal growth or pest or disease okay so all such kind all such precautionary measures has to be taken and in the next one we have dry storage with control of moisture content but not temperature okay in this case we usually go for orthodox seeds because uh, for recalcitrant seeds the other type of seeds we need to maintain the temperature uh, the relative humidity or the moisture content up to uh, 12 to 14 percent so in this case only where the moisture content is very low orthodox seeds we can maintain in a closed container okay so in this case we are not going to maintain temperature but we are just going to maintain the relative humidity exposure that is exposure to the external environment or the room moisture content from the seed moisture content okay so next thing is dry storage with control of both moisture content and temperature okay so in this case also we are going to um, 
this is also going to maintain for orthodox seats usually used for orthodox seats okay and and it is stored usually at temperature the only uh, special added added situation in this is it is stored at a temperature of 0 to 5 degree celsius temperature with maintenance uh, maintain viability of up to which can be maintained up to five years or more okay so in this case the added advantage from the previous one is that it is stored at a cooler temperature 0 to 5 degree celsius temperature okay which is an added advantage okay so it depends on facility the available uh, money that you have okay so you with unavailability of enough money with the department you cannot uh, construct such a structure with low temperature deep freezing facilities so it depends on the availability of finance and then next thing is um, dry storage for long term gene conservation so in this usually uh, seeds are stored in low temperature okay usually uh, minus 18 degrees celsius temperature and moisture content of about 5 moisture content of about 5 plus minus 11 percent moisture content into the room so <clears throat> we are going to control in this case also we are going to control both temperature and relative humidity and next thing is moist storage without control of moisture content or temperature so in this usually this is usually used for recalcitrant seeds where the amount of moisture content in the seeds has to be a little bit higher than orthodox seeds okay see we have already learned that recalcitrant seed amount of moisture content is 10 to 15 to 20 percent okay so while in case of orthodox seeds is 4 to 8 percent so in this case the moisture content it has to be the seeds has to be stored in either perforated bags or either as exposed okay Coming to the next one, we have moist coil uh, cold storage with control of temperature. In this method, we imply controlled low temperature just above freezing or less commonly just because of uh, just below uh, freezing. Okay, and the moisture can be controlled with approximate limits by adding moist media. Okay, what kind of media? It may be sand, it may be peat, or a mixture of both seed and proportions of one media is to one part of seed by volume and it has to be re-moistening re-moistening has to be done periodically or more accurately by controlling the relative humidity of the store and this is usually done in case of recalcitrant seeds where moisture content need is high and next coming to cryopreservation so in this case it is stored at a temperature less than uh, minus 196 degrees celsius okay and seeds are actually placed into the gaseous phase of the liquid nitrogen of one minus 150 degrees celsius for easy handling and safety okay and this is usually called as cryogenic storage so these are cryo cans where the seed storage are facilitated and the metabolic reactions come to a virtual standstill at the temperature of liquid nitrogen and cells will remain unaltered state until the tissues are removed from the liquid nitrogen and defrosted okay so once the uh, the storage phase the storage in cryopreservation is done and when we have to take out the seeds for sowing in the next season we cannot do it instantly we have to go for a process called towing which is uh, which is uh, treatment of the room temperature okay accustomed of the acclimatization of the seeds to the room temperature for a certain period of time and then sowing into the exposing into the external environment so we cannot expose the and seeds that is stored in the cryopreservation unit or cryo cryogenic storage and directly so in the soil okay because it may get uh, shock the seeds may get shocked and next thing is uh, a valuable global seed vault okay called the uh, svalbard global seed vault which is a storage facility with built to test the uh, uh, 
to stand the test of time and the challenge of nature and man-made disaster okay so in this structure this is a particular structure only one of its kind which is located in uh, Norwegian island of Spitsbergen and in the remote Arctic Svalbard archipelago less people know this place and usually this uh, fac this structure facilitates the storage of huge amount of seeds whatever available in the planet okay and th this is usually uh, stored as a uh, as a backup plan or for any man-made disasters or any natural calamities okay if there is anything happens and there is a wipeout of some uh, crop species the species can be regenerated from these storage units okay and the storage units are uh, stored in such a way that it is it can be less destructive least destructive at least so as well stated by its founder it is the backup insurance policy for all the seed banks all around the world so coming to the storage containers what kind of storage containers are used moisture first one we have moisture pervious second one moisture impervious and third one moisture resistant first one here moisture pervious so this is usually used for uh, seeds where moisture maintenance of moisture content is a little bit higher and relative humidity uh, need the need of relative humidity is a little bit higher compared to others okay so it has to be <coughs> the facility which stores and so which keeps these bags which uh, which keep this storage container should be having controlling temperature and relative humidity okay and they are obviously permeable to uh, relative humidity and temperatures okay and examples are we have um, cotton bag okay Co cotton bag or gunny bag or you can say paper cardboard okay or then fiber boards and next thing is moisture impervious such as plastics okay where moisture um, entry of moisture inside the seed storage package is quite difficult and <coughs> which is used for storage of which is used usually for long term storage okay and this method is added advantage over exclusion of oxygen so what whatever we are going to do once the seed is stored we have to extract the the uh, the oxygen because oxygen is needed for metabol all the metabolic activity so we need to remove the oxygen so that oxygen availability is less inside the packet and thus the growth and development of the seed the metabolic activity of the seeds okay so usually 100 goes 700 goes polythene bags are used next thing is moisture resistant it this includes polythene or plastic films or alumi aluminium foils okay and these are resistant to passes of moisture okay so these are also another unit of under storage containers where moisture passage is uh, less retainable but over a long period of time these will show low passage of water vapor tending to equilibrate the relative humidity inside or outside the container okay so this is it it is very much suitable for short term or medium term storage and gives excellent results okay the difference between moisture impervious and moisture resistant is that they are uh, little amount of relative humidity passes or moisture passes is there in moisture resistant while in case of moisture impervious there is no passage of moisture so you can store uh, seeds for a longer period of time in moisture impervious containers while in case of moisture rich resistant these are con these are used for short term or medium term con storage okay next coming to the factors influencing the seed storage okay so what are the factors let's see so biotic factors living factors factors related to seeds okay <clears throat> so first of all we have seed makeup genetic makeup of the seeds some seeds live long some seeds live short okay based on that so we have microbiotic which is 
short lived mesobiotic medium lived and my macrobiotic which is long lived okay and next thing is initial seed quality the while storing we have to check on the initial seed quality okay if it is destroyed if it is eaten half of or if it is of different genetic constitution that means if it is of a different variety so we have to take care of all this before we store the seeds so which comes with seed grading okay and and we before maintenance of unfavorable uh, environment okay and next thing is provenance okay that means the climatic conditions and soil types of the uh, the particular seed storage units okay that means it depends on storage of seeds in some place uh, example Simla and storage of seed in some place for example hot hot uh, or tropical conditions say for example Rajasthan so these two there will be differences and be because of the differences in this climatic and soil conditions we have to uh, vary the structures okay we have to use different structures so this is called provenance okay and then seed moisture content seed moisture content is vital in storability because it, because as we, as we have already seen we need less amount of moisture content 4 to 8 percent in orthodox seeds while 10 to uh, 14 to 20 percent in recalcitrant seeds lesser or more than that we will lost the will lose the seed quality okay because lesser than that the seed won't be able to survive the seed viability will be lost it vigor will be lost while if you increase the amount of moisture content the growth and development the metabolic activity will enhance the growth and development will be there and seed will germinate okay so this is the condition so maintaining optimum amount of moisture content for storage is quite necessary okay next thing is there is a thumb rule which uh, for maintaining the moisture content in the seeds what is that let's see for every 1% decrease in moisture content of the life of seed the life of seed will be doubled okay so if there is any if there is 1% decrease in moisture content the life of the the vigor of the the viability of the seed will be doubled okay and this is again holds good between 4 to 12 degrees celsius okay so within this temperature only based on tolerance and susceptibility of seed towards moisture loss seeds are classified into orthodox seeds recalcitrant seeds okay so what are the orthodox seeds the seeds are able to tolerate moisture loss and less moisture favor uh, the storage okay that is decreased moisture increased storage period example rice grains food grains okay and in case of recalcitrant seeds we have this is just opposite to orthodox seeds and seeds does not uh, seed does not tolerate moisture loss okay and it requires uh, high moisture for viability maintenance okay as we have told 14 to 20 percent of moisture retention is necessary next thing is uh, other micro uh, other biotic factors which includes uh, insect pests fungi okay and rodents and mishandling during sampling or testing okay so this accounts even though there may be minor uh, this accounts to huge loss in the seed storage units okay if not controlled at the right time and right conditions so the hu huge loss of seeds are there okay and <clears throat> mishandling during sampling testing means it may be at any case of seed processing okay it, and it may be from harvesting to seed storage seed processing seed uh, drying or any any kind okay next thing is abiotic factor what are abiotic factors first one is temperature regulations thumb rules we have already witnessed by thumb rules uh, if there is a decrease in one percent of seed moisture content the viability will be doubled okay and which is uh, true for conditions at temperature 5 to 14 degrees celsius okay this is degrees celsius and 5 4 to uh, 10 degrees celsius 4 to 12 degrees celsius and at a moisture content of 5 to 14 percent okay 
and for every decrease of 5% in storage temperatures the life of seed doubles the viability of seed doubles again this rule applies for 0 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius okay and uh, relative humidity is also important here because the amount of moisture content enters inside the seeds and decides the growth start of metabolic activities okay inside the seeds okay so it is the amount of moisture that means h2o present in the air at the given temperature in proportion to its maximum water holding capacities okay and next thing is uh, abiotic next abiotic factor is seed storage sanitization okay so, so as soon as there is no sanitization in the storage unit so there will be <coughs> there are high chances of seed losses in the storage facilities say for example fungal even though if it is not pests uh, fung fungal diseases may come up so proper fumigation is necessary during storage or before uh, storage of the seeds and next thing is gases atmosphere okay what are the factors increase in oxygen pressure decreases the period of viability okay so it is anti oxygen is anti uh, storage uh, factor okay so as the oxygen increases the viability gets decreases okay and next thing is uh, nitrogen and carbon dioxide at, at atmosphere will increase the storage facility via uh, storage facility okay or the storage life of seeds okay so this is again a, a positive um, add-on to the storage unit so uh, the room should be well filled with nitrogen and carbon dioxide okay and next thing is packaging material the packaging material should be uh, should have proper or recommended packaging material whether it is vapor, vapor proof containers for uh, orthodox seeds and vapor non proof container for recalcitrant seeds so we have to decide based on the type of seeds that we are going to store next thing is the requirements for maintenance of seed viability during storage what are the requirements okay so some 11 points are given here let's see one by one we have to store well matured seeds okay the immature seeds cannot be stored okay we have to harvest the seeds in matured conditions and then we have to store it next thing is store normal colored seeds so green colored seeds so if the uh, seed color of the seed after maturity is uh, yellow color we cannot store the seeds in green condition which is immature seeds so this is and some discolored or uh, which which also signifies dead seeds we have to discard okay next thing is seeds should be free from mechanical injury okay and seeds should be free from storage fungi or microorganisms okay so all things have to taken up like if there is uh, fungi infection fungal we have to take care with seed treatment or also and seed storage seeds should not have met with adverse conditions during maturity and storage go down should be fumigated to control storage insect periodically and next thing is storage environments or go downs should be dry and, and cool and next thing is seeds should be dry to optimum moisture content optimum moisture content is necessary and relative humidity also and temperature at the same time during storage and seeds should be treated with fungicides before storage that means seed treatment should be done proper and suitable packaging material should be used for a particular type of seeds okay we cannot use the any 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 packaging material for any seeds we have to decide based on the type of seeds <coughs> and these are some ideal storage facilities uh, should have or should satisfy okay these are it should provide maximum possible protection from ground moisture okay the it should not be connected okay the, the bag the gunny bag or the bag should not be connected with the ground which is which can absorb moisture uh, or uh, rain or insect based molds rodents birds and so and so and next thing is it should be provided it should provide the necessary facility for inspection disinfection loading unloading cleaning or reconditionings and next thing is it should protect grain from excessive moisture and temperature favorable to both insects and mold development okay as we have already uh, 
discussed that excessive moisture relative humidity and temperature regulates the metabolic activity and at the same time it it regulates the uh, um, the intrusions of insects and moles fungi and insects okay so temperature should be optimum not less not more okay uh, in a right way to store the seeds for a specific period of time and the next thing is it should be economical and suitable for the particular situations okay if you are going to store for short period of time you are not going to store it in cryopreservation or so you know you don't need such facilities because they are they come with high cost so you would be you ought to avoid such facilities but if you are going to store it for a longer period of time you need those facilities cryopreservations which are which comes with high cost okay next thing is types of storage structures first one we have bulk or open storage so in this case it is usually stored the seeds are usually stored in an in a uh, in a in a storage unit okay which is open which is quite open and and it is usually kept in pile okay or in uh, in a pit shallow pit okay and there is no difficulty in loading and unloading of grain no need to purchase storage containers like gunnies okay so so things can be uh, maintained quite easily and it avoids waste of leaking bags okay and then easily easy inspection can be done since seed is exposed okay and things in this case things should be taken care that these uh, seeds which are stored in open are not contaminated with fungus and these are not infected by pests okay so since they are exposed they are more likely to be infested or infected by uh, fungi and pest so things should be taken care in this type of container okay next thing is bag storage okay so in this commodities are mostly stored in gunnies and and it requires considerable labor but the minimum investment is enough to permit on permanent structures okay so bag storage is usually <coughs> has some advantages of being short term storage okay so you can easily come in and you can move from one place to another and it is usually go for we usually go for short term storage and can be handled easily during marketing purpose for for transferring from one place to another okay and <coughs> next thing is storage structure used by farmer or some traditional storage structures first one is gunny bag gunny bag comes with different sizes of 35 kg 50 kg 75 kg 100 kg or even more than this and this depends on the general use of the farmer or the the seed storage unit next thing is mud or earthen structures so these are mud or earthen structures traditional type uh, so particularly called this koti where the seeds are stored and bamboo structures okay the bamboo structures although it is used all over india and some other places outside india so these are common uh, storage unit for northeast regions okay so these are examples of some storage units where seeds are usually stored commonly stored bamboo and kaneri basket which is tradition in nagaland and most northeast regions and next thing is wooden structures creep such as creep like like this we can store in this bags gunny bags or a closed structure such as this where seeds can be stored inside thank you